All right, Shalom. Uh, first off, we have all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rukar Kodash, the partners to the apostles and the elders of GMS. Salutes and honors to the elect, all the brothers across the four corners who are during in truth and in sincerity and the women and children who follow. So this particular lesson, you know, uh, we got the brother you call. Shalom, shalom. And um, it's going to be about, um, you know, never being satisfied, never being okay with where you're at in this truth. You know, ironically, I was uh, I was watching uh, the musical on, on Disney Plus of uh, Hamilton, and they got this song, you know, and they were like, you know, I've never been satisfied, or you never be satisfied. And I related that to the truth, because that's really how it is, man. You should never be satisfied in this truth. Your, your belly should never be full. And, you know, we got a couple of scriptures, and, you know, like I said, if the brother got anything you want to add, you know, go ahead and chime in. This is, um, so like, this is the book of, um, 2 Peter. Uh, this one you want to one first, right? Yeah, yeah. Con, con. This is, uh, 2 Peter, the first chapter in the 10th verse. It says, Wherefore, the rather brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure, for if you do these things, you shall never fall. That's right, man. While you're in this, you got to give your diligence to make your calling, which is to preach this word, to give out this word to uh, to our people in, in your election, you know, to, to have salvation, sure. It's worse that it has to be done, it must be done, and it's truth. And in order for you to, to properly do your work, in order for you to properly be, be a man of the Lord and handle your business, okay, you can't say, okay, well, I, I, I'm good today, I did that. You got to always be searching, always uh, trying to level up. Uh, uh, they, uh, <clears throat> you know, as it says in um, the book of Ecclesiastes in Apocrypha 43, it says that uh, when you, you know going to serve the Lord, put forth all Go your Go all the way to the end. Put forth all your strength, you know. All uh, the way. I also like read to the end. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Hey, come on, come on. Hey, that's the spirit. This is the book of Sirach. What is this? Uh, I believe it's chapter 43. 43, 43 and verse 30. All right? It says, when you glorify the Lord, Yahweh, exalt him as much as you can. As much as you can, man. This, this, this. <laughs> it's infinite. You know? Infinity. There's not a limit on how much you can glorify the Most High. Bro, we woke up this morning. Yeah, yeah. Bro, he opened our eyes to the truth. Yeah, that's it. That's the main thing, though, that you made that statement. Because you have a lot of a lot of people that will say, that, "Oh, God woke me up. I'm thankful." Yeah, of course. But you know, you know, as as one of the brothers here mentioned, a lot is like, what did you wake up to do? Right. You know, as you mentioned, glorifying God. the Lord. You know, that's that's what you should be glorying, and not waking up just because you woke up to go do whatever you have to personally do for you. But what you can do for the Lord, man. Man, you know that, that's the whole that's the whole goal is to is to make sure that you're pleasing the Lord. The scriptures tell you that it says um you're gonna he he that loveth the Lord will seek that which is well pleasing unto him. Kind of, kind you know, of. it says um it says when you glorify the Lord Yahweh, exalt him as much as you can, but even yet will he far exceed. Man, you know I know uh, the, the the Christians you know they get that generic phrase won't he do it for you. But it, it, it's actually facts, though, because he will, man. Yep. The Most High is, is is such a beautiful thing, you know what I'm saying, to, to have him on your side. But also, it's a terrible thing to fall into the hands of the living power. That's it. So that's why, you know, it's a yin and a yang to it. It's a, a balance. You know, we went off. We got punished for it. You know, we're coming back to the Lord. You know, Lord is what we remain and get that salvation we'll get that reward for it it says for for when ye uh for so I can't, for even yet will he far exceed and when ye exalt him put forth all your strength and be not weary for you can never go far enough that's right man you can never go far enough there's, there's not enough acts that you can do to glorify the lord that will satisfy you know there's you know you can uh brotherly love 
you know, reading, researching, prophesying, you know, just, you know, talking about the, the scriptures, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Everything is, everything in your being, you know what I'm saying, has an opportunity to glorify the Lord, man. That's it. I want to get this, uh, hey, because if that was the case, if we didn't have to continue to, to you know, because it says, even when he far exceed, meaning what? We got to, you know, we got to, we got to meet that level. You know what I'm saying? We got to meet him there. You know what I'm saying? Okay, he, he's the most high, set the bar. Okay, I want you to get here. Okay, I set the bar here, now you get here. So it's the meaning what? Like the brother brought out first in uh, the book of Peter, giving diligence to make your calling and election sure. Because if he sets that, if he raises that bar for you, and you're not doing anything to reach that bar, hey, guess what? Eventually, the Most High stop dealing with you. Okay. You know, and, and and especially in these day, this day and age, and this time that we're living in, you don't want that, man. So I'm uh, Baba Kashan, don't mind me getting this word here. In, uh, in the book, uh, not the book, in the etymology online, the word diligence it says constant and earnest effort to accomplish what is undertaken. From old French diligence, attention, care, haste, and speed. You know, and it says what? We give we give haste, uh, we haste unto the day. And how do we do that, man? We're constantly in the prophecies, watching the prophecies, constantly into the scriptures. You know, we're trying to make sure that we're keeping up. You know, as it says in uh, Sor uh, not Sor uh, 2nd Ezra 9, measuring the time diligently within itself. You know, we're constantly on top of things. Why? Because we want Yahweh Shemiah to shine before our favor, man. Okay. You know, because two thirds of our people are not going to have you. How about me outside for their favor based off of their works? You know, <laughs> hey, which, hey, man, hey, it's beautiful, man, because it also says that in Second Ezra nine too, uh, he that is able to escape by his works and by faith. Yeah, you know, yeah, hey, we got we got to escape keep the said perils. Yes, exactly, you know, um, but that's that's pretty much all I want to get in that. You know. Um, no scripture you want to put out next. Go uh, uh, swipe right twice. Uh, Hebrews. Yeah. Okay, kind of, kind of. This is uh, the book of Hebrews, chapter five, <coughs> uh, in verse twelve. It says, "For when, for the time, ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of the Most High." That's why you can never go far enough and say, "Well, I learned enough for." Uh, I'm, I'm good. I got the basics because even those of us who are teaching, who are pushing up the fourth, the truth, and the word, we got to go back and refresh our minds with the basics. So you, how can you already have gone f far enough for the Most High if you have to refresh yourself? That means you ain't far enough. Yep. <laughs> That's right. That's right. We got to keep. Going back over the virgin birth, keep going back over uh, Deuteronomy 68, Deut or Deut I said Deuteronomy 68, 28, 68. 28, 68. Right. Deuteronomy 28, the whole chapter, mm -hmm. you know, those basic scriptures. And, and that's because, it sounds like a because you never know when you're gonna meet somebody that, that haven't heard it or that's fresh in, and you got to go back over that. You want to be sharp with it that's because it. that's very important. I'm gonna go 90. Yeah. It's, it's very important. Um, when you when you bring in somebody into the Lord, you want to be accurate. That's it. You don't want to stumble over words or oh 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 oh, oh, oh um, 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 you know you want to be concise. Mm -hmm. Going back into the uh, you know, you know like the Ten Commandments, you know, as you speak, like the, these are very simple things, but you have to go. We have to go over them. These are very important. You know, die the dietary law, especially in the times where we ought to be pilgrims upon the earth. We don't know what situation we're gonna be in. Yeah. You know, we might have to, we might find ourselves, you know, in, in the woods somewhere, you know, hungry and shit, had have ate for a couple of days. And if you don't if you never if you only went over the dietary laws one time, you're like, yeah, I understand. I ain't gonna never have to go back to this again. And you start forgetting these things. That's so when right. that time comes, that's why it says wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. Man. You're not going to make it without the strength of your how about Shemiah was shy, man, which comes of the scriptures, you know? And that's, this is how you're going to familiarize yourself with them. You know, like you said, diligently, constantly being in that word, looking at your definitions, reading, you know, watching the other brothers' videos, you know, just doing things that the elect should be doing. God. 
That's it. It says, <clears throat> and um, it says these. Uh, so I read it again. It says, for when the time you ought to be teachers, you have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of the Most High, and are become as such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. But every See, that's what I was saying. Yep. Because you know when you need when you meet somebody that has need of that milk or those those basic scriptures, you already went over them. Oh yeah, I just went over that again the other day, and a lot of times it be through the spirit that you you know just went over it the other day, and the Most High send you up to somebody, and you can break it down to them. Mm -hmm. That's happened plenty of times to me. I know it's happened to to all the men in this truth. So that's why it's very important to to continue to to grow and to build yourself. That's it. Hey, it reminds me of Romans 15 and 4. It says, for the things written the four time written for our learning. Okay. And that was no, it was talking about, of course, the accounts of the different prophets and the different uh, situations the Most High put our forefathers through. But like the brothers, like the brothers made mention of, it also goes back to those milk scriptures. These things are, these things have been written. And for what? For our learning. You know, it says, uh, for everyone that uses milk is uns unskillful in the word of righteousness for he is a, for he is a babe but strong meat belonging to them that are full, of full age even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil so um, I, got, I got a precept for you okay, this one okay. Okay. it's uh, the book of second Peter chapter 3 <clears throat> and verse uh, and verse 17 through 18 it says ye therefore beloved seeing ye know these things before Beware lest she also being led away with the error of the wicked fall from your own steadfastness. Hey, that was it says fall from your own steadfastness from being being constant, you know, being steady, being being on point. You know what? I.e., like like the brothers mentioned, to giving diligence to make your calling and election sure. You know? It says unless you fall from your own steadfastness, but grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shah Mashiach. You know, and that's the point, to continue to grow, man. You know, here it is. You have the elders and apostles here at Great Millstone. You know, and even from time to time, they have to go back and look things up, man. You know, and they've been given due diligence before a lot of us was even born, man. Yeah, man, 30-some years. You know, 20, 25, 30-some plus years, man. You know, so here it is. That, that's the perfect example of how you should continue to give diligence, continue to study, continue to stay on top of your game, man, because you never, hey, keep your, keep your sword sharp. You know, keep your sword sharp and, and keep your um, and keep your head uh, in, in, in the books, man. Keep your nose clean. Yeah. Keep, keep your, yeah. <laughs> your sword sharp. <laughs> yeah, you know. Uh, which one next? Uh, just one more uh, swipe to the swipe back. Yeah. Uh, there's no more babes. Yeah. In First Peter chapter two and verse two, <clears throat> it says, "As newborn babes." Desire the sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby. That yep. you may grow thereby. So when you come into this thing, it's not about coming in. Oh fuck! It's lucky people don't know how to drive. But uh, when you come into this thing, it's not about reaching a level and then you're done. Your works are, are done. We're not done until we're in the kingdom. Yeah. So when you start off with that milk start growing and you grow into that meat then you know you become a teacher and you start teaching others it's a whole cycle mm -hmm. you know you're always growing you're always learning you're always leveling up mm -hmm. and to make a point by the same word huh. the same word you know you're going to add, that's why it says the words uh it says uh, heaven and earth shall pass away but my word shall not pass away and the reason why is because we need to know these things, man. We need to know the old scriptures. The, you know the um, I don't want to say the old scriptures. The um, you know the lighter scriptures, so to speak. You know, we need to know everything, man. You know, as much as the Most High will open our minds up to, we need to know everything. You know, that's the only way we're going to be able to please y'all by y'all shining to get salvation. You know. So uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So with that being said, you know, I hope your brothers were edified and uh, invigorated, you know, 
with this lesson, and we, uh, we give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakar Kodash, divine to the apostles and the elders of GMS, salute to our midst of the elect, all the brothers across the four corners who are during the truth and the sincerity, and the women and the children who follow. Shalom. Shalom.